Greetings fellow golf clashers. Today we are moving back to the third tee box in search of the Maple Bay holes in Tour 11. So this is the third tee box. Those are the tees that you'll be playing from if you are a Masters tournament player. Uh, yesterday we had a significant tailwind. We were able to bounce off of this fairway over to the second and use our sniper with a rough bump to get uh, up to the green. But from the third tee box with this a strong crosswind we're gonna have to lay up here and play a longer wood so I did a 10% adjustment so adding 1.3 and played it about 13.8 miles an hour wind it ended up being about an 8.2 ring adjustment with my Thor's hammer here a lot of top spin some curl to balance out with that strong crosswind and we find the fairway uh, laying up for our second shot And here is that second shot. You can see that I'm using the longer wood so that I won't have to overpower if I was using, say, a sniper here. Uh, what I'm trying to do here is catch that little back slope and have the ball funneled back down towards the pin uh, like so many of the greens on this course seem to have. So I use just a little bit too, too much top spin here. And uh, going over water, I also add 10%. So I'm playing it as a plus 1.3, so it's a 14.5. So I end up, in, end up adjusting about eight and a half rings here. Put some curl on it. The top spin ends up being a little bit too much and I shoot past, but still I'm on the fairway and I have a nice easy wedge for an eagle. All right, up next we have a par three. It's hole number three of the Maple Bay course, and it will also be hole number three in the tournament. So having the first time playing this hole, uh, kind of take a look around, see what might be possible, give it a look for elevation, and it does appear to be downhill. So I end up playing this one at a maximum adjustment with my Cataclysm 5 here, and I add 10% to the wind. Uh, Right at the end of this, I'm going to show you why I think that's not quite enough. I think it's going to end up be, being played at about a plus 20% wind adjustment. So I add 10%, so adding 1.1, we're going to adjust for 11.6 miles per hour, which is 6.9 rings with the Cataclysm level 5. And the shot ends up being all right, but it does land significantly further back from the area I was aiming for uh, when I was setting up my target zone. So take a look here and see where I was aiming versus where the shot ended up. That's where I was aiming, and the shot ended up all the way back here. So that's why I think it's gonna be a plus 20%. Moving right along, we've got hole number four here. It's also tournament hole number four. There have been some replays coming out of guys using strong tailwind. You can basically just shoot it right over the water and rough bump up onto the green. Uh, I didn't have that wind here. So uh, if you remember yesterday, we uh, were gonna play this at about a tw plus 20% adjustment. And uh, if you saw that shot there, it caught the edge of that first fairway and it's a downhill slope there so it significantly contracted our ball guide so we want to try and avoid that if possible so we'll have uh, not quite as long a distance into the green so now we still do have a long iron in there with our goliath and we're playing at a plus 10 percent at a max adjustment and if you recall from the video yesterday the uh, the back side of the green slopes back and it also slopes really hard right to left so we're going to play with some full backspin and a little bit of left and playing it just to the right of the pin and play some uh, right curl in order to try and compensate for that, that really strong crosswind. Uh, it ends up being a pretty good shot. It comes in still even with that curl and with the spin. It comes in just a little bit to the left, but still that's, that's not a bad shot and we'll be able to clean that up and dial it in. All right, next up we've got hole 4C. This is tournament hole number 7. We were playing yesterday from the second tees. We had some fairly strong headwind, but we're still able to play on this uh, this island fairway right here and get up onto that second for a short iron. Uh, from the third tee box, if we've got headwind like that, we're not going to be able to play that shot. But with this crosswind uh, blowing just slightly, uh, also from uh, just a slight tailwind as well, we'll be able to play this. So we're going to do plus 10%, so we'll add 1.2 and play it as a 13.1, which is just under eight rings for our adjustment with the driver. We hit it great, but we're still going to find the fairway, and that's going to set us up for a short iron and for an eagle on this par four. So 
So yesterday with the short iron, I knew it was downhill and I played it at a plus 10% and I was convinced that I had the, uh, the line and everything right, but it, I, I was convinced that it was, should actually be played at a plus 15%. So that's what I do here. I add 15%, so adding about 1.7, I should be playing this at about a 13.1 miles an hour. Uh, I end up not quite doing exactly that it should be about 7.6 rings and i only end up adjusting for about 7.4 so uh, i don't use any wind apps or anything like that i like to do the math in my head and uh it just cost me a little bit this time i should have should have done that so uh i still th think that this one should be played at a plus 15 percent but as you can see didn't quite make the right adjustment here and we're going to end up rolling just by but even so, in the tournament, we should have a really good opportunity for a short iron for Eagle. All right, last up we have hole number nine. It'll also be hole number nine of the tournament. So, uh, looking at it here, it looks like it's going to be downhill. And since we have some uh, tailwind here, figure we're going to go uh, try and, and bounce onto that second fairway there. Um, again, first time playing it, so not really sure how we're going to do it, but it looks like it's downhill with that, that tailwind. I figure that's safe enough to go for it. Not quite sure how far it's going to be from there to the green, so I go ahead and adjust my bag so that I have a longer wood, my big dog, uh, for the second shot here. And we uh, take the shot. It, it's a safe shot. Land on the fairway here, giving us this second shot with uh, with our big dog. Uh, a little bit further, we might be able to to bounce on the uh, the front side of the fairway, right in front in front of the green there. But don't quite have enough room. Another option here might be a rough bump. Uh, if we have a sniper, uh, it's it's kind of far to try and rough bump it. Have to use a lot of top spin. Could cause some havoc if we if we try and go that route. So I put, take the safe route here. Uh, once again, it, it's, it looks to be significantly down here, so I add 10% to my adjustment with the big dog and double bounce it up onto the green here. Still kind of trying to figure out how to play it, but it's a safe shot, and this is an easy eagle here. Uh, we'll try and dial it in with, uh, with our wood. It looked like the green, again, had a little backstop, so I was trying to use that to uh, roll it back towards the pin. <laughs> 